Hello dear students, this is a video tutorial that will help you retain information at home. The title of our lesson is Writing a Cause Effect Essay from the English Writing Handbook, Chapter 6, pages 36 to 39. The objectives of our lesson are Identify the cause effect relationship Distinguish between the focus on causes method and the focus on effects method Write a clear piece of statement that identifies the causes or the effects. Write supporting sentences for a cause or an effect. Write a well-developed cause-effect essay following the writing guideline. Prepare your writing handbook, a draft paper, and a pencil. And note that at the end of the tutorial, you will be asked to write a well-organized cause-effect essay. Let's start by a quote. Today's quote is, global warming isn't a prediction, it is a happening. We all agree that global warming is a serious problem affecting our planet. So, what are some of the causes or reasons of global warming? Stop the video and prepare your answers. Once you are ready, play it again. Some of the suggested answers are, deforestation, burning fossil fuels, and littering. This means that deforestation or burning fossil fuels leads to an increase in carbon footprint, which in turn leads to global warming. What am I focusing on here? The answer is the causes, the causes of the global warming. So to determine causes, ask why did this happen? And causes are the reason. Another question, what are some of the effects or results of global warming? Stop the video and prepare your answers. Some of the suggested answers are climatic change, coastal flooding, drought, decrease in agricultural productivity, death, or extinction of some animals. This means that global warming, which is an increase in the Earth's temperature, causes droughts, coastal flooding, and the climatic changes. What am I focusing on here? The answer is, I am focusing on the effects, the effects of the global warming. So, to identify effects, ask what happened because of this, and the effects are the results. Now, let's organize our ideas in a T-chart. A T-chart is a graphic organizer that will help you identify, understand, and remember multiple causes and effects of a certain topic. Our topic is global warming. You see here that the T-chart is divided into two sections. One is for the causes in which the writer is focusing on the causes. The causes are burning fossil fuels, increasing the carbon footprint, deforestation, and accumulation of greenhouse gases. Now it's time for the effects. You see here that the writer is focusing on the effects. So, the effects are coastal flooding and rising sea level, droughts or shortage of water, drop in agricultural productivity and extinction of animals. Before moving to read the cause effect essay model, let us talk about our assignment. The assignment is on page 39. Choose one of the two prompts below to write a well developed cause effect essay. Don't forget to outline your essay. Prompt number one. Our planet Earth is suffering due to various environmental problems that threaten its ecology. Ecology is the relationship between the humans and the environment. In a well-organized cause-effect essay, discuss two causes of an environmental problem, global warming, land pollution, air pollution, or water pollution. So, it's clear here that you have to discuss two causes or reasons of an environmental problem of your choice. Prompt number two. Using bikes helps reduce air pollution. Write a well-organized essay that sheds the light on the effects of riding bikes on the environment and people's health. So here, it's clear that you have to discuss two positive effects of riding bikes. One, effect on the environment, and another one, on people's health. Again, don't forget to outline your work. Let's read the cause-effect essay model. 
please refer to page 36 in your English Writing Handbook. Stop the video and read the model. Please note that whenever it's a question time, you have to stop the video and think about the answer. Once your answer is ready, play the video again to check your answer. Let's start. Underline the thesis statement and circle the controlling idea. What is the order focusing on here? So, as we see, the thesis statement is the last sentence in the introduction. Underline. The two main causes of car accidents are poorly trained drivers and distracted drivers. The controlling ideas are circled, poorly trained drivers and distracted drivers. So as you see, the thesis statement is divided into the topic and the two controlling ideas. The other is focusing on causes of car accidents. Poorly trained drivers and distracted drivers are two main causes of car accidents. What is the type of writing and how can you tell? The type of writing is an expository essay in which the writer shows us, the readers, the relationship between the reasons of car accidents and the results. Find the topic sentence of the first body paragraph. What does it include? The topic sentence is, one cause of car accidents is poorly trained driver. The topic sentence includes the first controlling idea, which is the first cause of car accidents, poorly trained drivers. List the details that the writer used to support the idea mentioned in the topic sentence of the second body paragraph. As you see, the supporting details are underlined. For example, people who talk on their cell phone while driving and limiting their abilities since talking on a cell phone often requires the use of one hand and takes some concentration. Another supporting detail is some drivers work on laptops, count their kids and do other activities. Pick out from the text for words or phrases that signal causes or effects. Some of the words or phrases that signal causes or effects are thus, lead to, result in, for these reasons, and other more. What is the other focusing on? Causes or effects. The writer is focusing on the causes. This method is called the focus on causes method. Whereas when he or she emphasizes on the effects or the results of a cause, then the method used is the focus on effects method. Now, stop the video and read the definition of a cause-effect essay on page 36. As any other essay, the cause-effect essay is made up of three parts, the introduction, the body paragraphs, and the conclusion. When you write a cause-effect essay, you must start by a general statement, narrow your ideas down till you reach the thesis statement that introduces the causes or the effects of the topic discussed. The thesis statement has to be clearly stated and introduce your main idea using the terms cause or effect. Let's move to the body of our essay. What is the main idea or the topic sentence of the first body paragraph? Write down the supporting details for the main idea. The main idea or the topic sentence of the first body paragraph is one cause of car accidents is poorly trained drivers. Write down the supporting details for each main idea. Two of the supporting details are, for example, inexperienced drivers who exceed the speed limit will have a more difficult time stopping or turning if something such as an animal crosses their path. Another supporting detail is There are road signs that the drivers need to recognize, understand, and obey. Other drivers cannot tell how people who do not obey road signs will drive, and this unpredictability can lead to car accidents. Don't forget to start each body paragraph by a topic sentence that clearly identifies the cause or the effect. Include all types of details to have good body paragraphs. 
facts, statistics, examples, sensory details, and experts' opinions. Now, now, stop the video and refer to page 38 to read the guidelines of writing body paragraphs. Finally, the last paragraph in our essay is the conclusion. It is the paragraph that seals the essay and mainly summarizes the writer's main idea. The conclusion of such type of writing usually restates the main reasons or effects and unifies the essay. Refer to the model to check the content and to start your conclusions by a transition word too. As you see here, the writer started the conclusion by to wrap up. You can choose any other transition word like to conclude, to sum up, as a conclusion, etc. Don't forget that you must use the proper transition words and expressions for clarity and smoothness as any type of essay. And here are some examples. Also, you can refer to page 19 for extra transitions that might be used in your essay. Now it's application time. In application number one, you have to write a clear and correct thesis statement on the following topic. Effects of burning fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are fuels formed by natural processes. They include coal, petroleum, natural gas, heavy oil, etc. Pause the video and prepare your answer. When you are ready, please play it again to check your answer. A suggested answer is burning fossil fuels leads to air pollution and causes respiratory diseases. Application number two. Write two supporting details for the following topic sentence. Burning fossil fuels leads to air pollution. Stop the video and prepare your answer. Let's check our answers. Supporting detail number one. Burning fossil fuels produces around 21.3 billion tons of carbon dioxide annually. Supporting detail number two. When fossil fuels are burned, they release nitrogen oxides into the atmosphere, which contribute to the formation of smog and acid rain. Application number three. Write two supporting details for the following topic sentence. Burning fossil fuels causes respiratory diseases. Stop the video and prepare your answers. Let's check our answers. Supporting detail 1, for example, burning coal causes asthma and may Supporting the lung cancer. Supporting detail number 2, about 65 million people suffer from chronic pulmonary diseases yearly as a result of burning fossil fuels. Any reasonable answers are accepted. Finally, dear students, don't forget that to write a well-organized cause-effect essay, you must state a clear thesis that introduces your main idea using the terms cause or effect and should be the last sentence in your introduction. Write a clear and well-supported topic sentences in the body paragraphs and restate the main causes or effects in the conclusion. Hopefully, you have a better understanding of a cause-effect essay after watching this presentation. Thank you for watching. The end.